In this video, we will start with the fundamental challenge. Under fundamentals, there are many challenges. So let's start with fundamentals. Click on it. You can see one of the challenges are available. VSC1. Click on it. Here is the PDF for this challenge. Here is my IBM ID. Here is the password. So first I have to connect with VS code. Then solve the VS1 challenge. Take me to the VSC1 challenge PDF. Click on it. Here is the PDF. So this PDF has 12 steps and it will take around 45 minutes. Step 1 is to download these two software Node.js and Visual Studio Code. Here is the link for both. So let's go to these links and download both of them. Here is Node.js. Let's click on this link. And you will see the download has started. And then download this one. For Windows, I will download this Visual Studio Code. I will download this 64-bit version because I have a 64-bit system. The step 2 is to install the Node.js. And step 3 is to install the VS Code and then run it. So let's do it. Go to the Downloads folder. Here you can see Node.js. Double click on it. Click on next, I accept the agreement, next, install it, install, then click on finish. Same way, just installed VS Code. I accept the agreement, click on next, next, click on next. Create a desktop icon, next, then install. That's it. You can launch VS Code as well. Finish. This is the VS Code. Let us go to step 4. This is step 4. It is asking us to install IBM Z Open Editor. For that, we have to go to Extensions tab. So let's go to VS Code. This is our VS Code. Here click on Extensions and then search IBM Z Editor. Here is IBM Z Open Editor. Click on Install. And you can see here Installing. It is now successfully installed. After the installation is successful, it will show an icon like this, which will say ZOE Explorer. Then let's go to Step 6. It is asking to create a profile. To create a profile, we have to click on the plus sign next to the datasets tab. Click on the ZOWE icon. Once you click, this type of interface will open. It will have it will have three tabs: datasets, USS, and jobs. In datasets, you have to click on the plus icon, and then click on create a new connection to ZOS. The connection name should be zxplore. Then it will ask for URL and port. This URL and port is given here. So you have to copy this. So give here https double slash 204 dot 90 dot 115 dot 200 colon 10443 double check that it is correct 20490115200 click enter give your username your username is given in the vsc1 challenge so here is my username it will start with z just copy this go to VS Code, give your username, press the enter key, then give the password, password is also given in this page only. So copy this, give the password here, then in this screen you have to give false. Then again leave it empty and press the enter key and you will see 
a new tab will appear here which will say zxflow. This is the profile we just created. In step 8, it is asking us to set a filter which is our user ID. So go to the new profile that is zxflow, click on the search dataset icon and give here your user ID. Press enter. And you can see a new dataset appeared here. Click on it. Here you can see zero SMF error. It says REST API failure. So this is step 9, which says fixing connecting issue. If you get an issue, just right click and then click on update profile. So just right click on the profile that is zxflore and then update profile. Press enter, give username, password, give false, leave this empty. Profile was successfully updated. Then let's go to step 10. In step 10, it is asking us to add profile to the other tabs as well. So go to USS, click on plus, and here give Z Explore. And you can see this profile was added here. Same way, go to jobs and give Z Explore. And you can see the profile is now under all these three tabs. And in step 11, it is asking us to give a filter your user ID comma and then zxp so click on zxp then click on the search icon here give the user id comma then in capital letters zx and p press enter and here you can see all the data sets these are all the data sets let's start with zxp then we have to find the data set zxp.public.jcl so here is the dataset zxc.public.jcl and here are the members inside this dataset you have to find a member called vscjcl go down here is vscjcl click on it this is the content of this jcl we have to right click on it and then submit the job so right click on it then click on submit job, job submitted. So let's go to our website, go down and then click on challenge complete. And you can see challenge is now complete. You have completed the fundamental challenge. Challenge is unlocked, show them now. Challenge 2, that is files is now available. If you like my videos, then you can support me by buying my mainframe course. After buying this course, you will get 19 hours of mainframe training. This course will teach you COBOL, JCL, vSAM, TSO, ISPF, Unix System Services and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description.